Hi everyone, let's do lead code 704 binary search. So this is a fundamental problem that everyone should know how to solve if you're actually serious about passing a technical interview. And this problem forms the basis of more complicated binary search problems. So let's look into it. We are given an array of integers which are sorted in ascending order and we're given an integer target as inputs. We want to write a function which finds the index of this target number in the input array. If this target number is not in the input array, we can simply return minus one. One of the requirements is that this algorithm must run in big O of log n runtime. This is because one could simply just traverse through the input array and return the index when we encounter the number nine, but that would run in big O of n time, which is not what we want. So if you have studied binary search, you know that binary search is the algorithm that runs in big O of log n time and we are given an array which is actually sorted, so that's what we actually want to use. So let's take this as an example. What we want to do is we want to have two pointers, a left pointer at the beginning of the array and the right pointer at the end of the array. One possible way could be to check if left or either right are pointing to the target. That would eliminate only one possible number, either the left or the right one, and then we could move the pointers one position towards the middle. But that's not actually efficient. That would still take big O of n time. A more clever way is to have two pointers and calculate their middle point. So middle would be somewhere here. And now what we want to do is we want to check, is this middle point equals to the target? No, it's not. Uh, it's actually smaller than the target. What this means is that anything to the left of this middle point can be eliminated from consideration. And we can now actually move left pointer to m plus one. So left is now gonna be pointing here. We wanna repeat the same thing. We wanna do left plus right pointer divided by two and find the middle pointer. Now we wanna check is middle equal to the target, yes it is. So we can simply return the index of this number nine, which is gonna be our middle pointer. As you can see, when we did this first iteration, we eliminated the first part of the array, whatever was at the left of this middle pointer. So this is quite efficient. And this is how binary search actually works. And this operation takes big O of log n time. So why is binary search log n time? Let's actually look into that. So let's assume we had an input array which was of size 32 and we were using binary search to look for a target number. So at first iteration, let's say we didn't find our number, we would still be able to eliminate half of the possible uh, inputs. Again, each time we would be dividing the search space by two. So we would be halving each time. So eventually we would reach two and we would reach one element in the search space. So if this is still not equal to the target, it means that our target doesn't exist in the input. So how many times can we divide? So we're gonna have a while loop that is gonna be handling all of this but we wanna know how many times is this while loop gonna run? Well, this while loop is gonna run as many times as we can divide the input array by two. So this is represented by log n in base two equals to x. So x is the number of times we can divide the input array by two. And that's gonna take log n time. So this is why this takes log n time. Uh, memory complexity is gonna be constant. We're just using two pointers. So it's gonna be big O of one. Okay, let's try some code now. So the first thing we need are our two pointers left and right. Left is gonna be at the beginning of the input array and the right is gonna start at the end of the input array. So we want a while loop. So while left is smaller or equal to right, we wanna keep doing the following operation. So we want to calculate the middle point, which is gonna be 
left plus right divided by 2. Uh, one thing to notice here is that uh, this is okay to do in Python, but if you're using any other programming language, let's say Java, an integer has a maximum value that it can hold. So this could lead to an arithmetic overflow. So one way to solve the arithmetic overflow is to actually first calculate the distance between right and left pointer, and then we simply just divide it by two and add it to the current left pointer. So this is gonna avoid arithmetic overflow. Okay, so now we have our middle pointer. We want to check, is numsat m bigger than target? If it is, it means that we wanna move our right pointer to be equal to m minus one. Else, if nums of m is smaller than target, we want left pointer to be equal to m plus one. Else, it means we have found our target and we can simply return the index where this target number is, which is represented by m. And once we have exited this while loop, it means that there was no target in this input array, so we can simply return minus one. Let's now see if this works. Yes, it does work. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Also check out my YouTube channel, you're gonna find many more lead code questions and other videos that I hope you're gonna find useful to prepare for your technical interviews. Thank you.